Did you know that it is actually possible to one-shot shield in Genshin Impact? Of course you don't, because you're not a whale player. Well, now that you've been clickbaited into watching this video from whales one-shotting shield, why don't we talk about science or shield-breaking theory? Especially how the current abyss is filled with shield enemy. Hero, Lecter, Mages, Disin Mage, this thing, uh, Fatui agents, they all have shields on them. So, let's talk about shield breaking theory. But having basic knowledge of the elemental gauge theory, as well as the internal cooldown concept theory, is highly recommended. So if you're unsure or unfamiliar with those science concepts, be sure to go check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Starting out with commonly see on the Fatui agents is the elemental armor. These will heavily reduce the damage they take, but will not actually prevent them from taking damage. As you can see, I can still do damage to them, just at a much lesser amount. Using incorrect element against them will have little to no effect on their shield, for example cryo. However, using the correct element, like electro in this case, will see a noticeable decrease in their shield amount. On the other hand, elemental shield, commonly seen on abyss mages, will make them completely invulnerable to damage. However, every little thing you do will reduce their shield by a little amount, with some reducing more than the other when using the correct element. Finally, there are special shield like Devlin or Child. However, these are unique and will not be covered in this video today. When it comes down to shield breaking, there's three fundamental concepts you need to know. Reaction cost, damage cost, poise cost. And in combination, they determine how much of the shield you'll remove. As you might have guessed, every single shield in this game can be represented using elemental unit gauges. For example, the Cryo Gunner have 8 unit worth of Cryo on their shield, while the Abyss Lighter have 36 worth of Electros on their shield. And it is pretty simple to remove their shield. You only need to produce elemental reactions such that you will consume 8 unit worth of cryo or respectively 36 unit worth of electro thus consuming their entire shield's elemental gauge unit. And the way it is consumed is based on something known as the reaction cost. For example, let's start with the Fatui elemental armor. Using the correct element onto the different armor type will have a 2 reaction cost. For example, applying Pyro onto Cryo will have a reaction cost of 2. However, every other element in the game will only have a reaction cost of 0.1. In order to determine how much of the shield you're removing, you only need to multiply your reaction cost with your elemental gauge that you're applying. Very very simple. For example, Bennett's elemental skill apply 2B Pyro. And given that Pyro have a 2 reaction cost onto the Cryo Shield, this means that Bennett's elemental skill will apply a total of 4 units. And so it will remove 4 unit worth of Cryo from the Cryo Gunner Shield. Which we can easily observe is what happened. After 2 Bennett's elemental skill removing total of 8 unit, we can see the Cryo Shield is completely gone. And this also helps explain why against elemental armor, other element does practically nothing because they have a very very low reaction cost at 0.1 or even lower. Now previously, we also talked about how there's a damage cost, but this does not really apply onto the elemental armor because your damage does directly onto the Fatui agent instead at a 20% ratio, which means you will do 20% of your regular damage to them directly. And if you can do enough damage, then yeah, you can still one-shot them. Now this of course works very similarly for elemental shield seen on the abyss mages or on the abyss lecture or hero and this is the complete chart for the reaction cost. Now something to take note is that you can see how here pyro and cryo have both the same reaction cost against electro shield and they're both one. This means that when you're fighting the abyss lecture using pyro or using cryo will have the exact same effectiveness as taking away their shield. So all that it really comes down to is like how fast and how much you can apply that element. And that's why 4 Thundering Free Bennett works so well because he applied Pyro so fast and so much Pyro. You also notice how there's no electric charge on the reaction cost table. And that is because electric charge works differently in terms of the sense that it uses a tick system to remove the shield instead. What it means is that applying more electro or applying more crowd will not really help you removing more of the shield. For example here you can see I use Beidou's, Fischl and Lisa to remove this Hydro Mage shield. And this you can see the speed is not very very fast at all. In comparison it is actually the exact same speed if I were to just use Lisa by herself. With that being said, we move on to the fun part which is damage cost. As you might not have known, 
Damage actually still matter when it comes down to breaking shield. Previously, I showed you how Abyss Mages is completely invulnerable to taking damage with the shield up, but instead the damage is actually dealt to the shield. To make it slightly easier to understand, 20% of your damage is actually dealt to the shield proportional to their max HP. For example, here you can see with a fully geared dealer and a better buff, this is how much damage I can do to the shield. In comparison to my naked Eula, I'm absolutely doing no damage to the shield at all, with my auto wall attack at least. Please know that these reactions can crit, however cannot do reaction. Here, while it looks like my Hutao is doing vaporize onto the Hydro Mage shield, the damage does not actually get 1.5 times when it comes down to damage conversion on the shield. Since your supporting characters are most likely not too geared with damage, then the damage conversion portion on the shield does not really really matter for them. However, for your main DPS, especially burst type DPS like Hu Tao, that can output huge amount of damage in a short amount of time, this damage conversion actually end up being pretty helpful. Just so that you will need a lot of damage to matter. Suppose Hu Tao can do 100k damage on her elemental burst crit, against a Hydro Mage which have 100k HP, then the total damage of Dao to Shield would be 20% of 100k, and since you cannot vaporize, then it would just be 100k, not 100k times 1.5, times 12, which is the Abyss Mage Shield gauges, divided by 100k, which is the max HP of the Hydro Mage, which is 2.4 units shield damage. Final thing we have to talk about is poise costs which matter against Geo or Frozen type of shield, or more commonly known as Stagger Value. Each character has a predetermined Stagger Value on every single one of their attack, whether it be Elemental Skills or Elemental Burst. For example here, you can see that the Lukes is in the 100 while Chi Chi's is only at the 40s or 50s. And these Stagger Value are then converted into damage against either the Geo shield or the Frozen shield at the current ratio. For example, Xiao's plunge have higher than 200 stagger value, which means he's pretty good against Geo Shield in comparison to people with lower stagger value. Claymore characters are often used against Geo or Frozen Shield because they have higher stagger value in comparison to other attack. Here you can see Chongyun's elemental burst can even take away 5.6 units of the Geo Shield in one hit. Knowing this information, it is up to you on learning and figuring out what's the best way for you to break shield. For example here, rapidly switching characters to circumvent around ICD so to keep the enemy frozen. Or perhaps you can just do so much damage and use damage to knock the shield down instead of relying on elemental reaction. For example, onto this Pyro Abyss Mage. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video about how shield work and especially how shield is broken. As always, remember that knowledge is power. With this newfound knowledge or power, I hope that you can 36 star your abyss, especially with the amount of shield that we have to deal with. And perhaps maybe this knowledge will come in handy for the future as well. That's it for the video, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.